everybody, Nintendo Boy 17 here, and it's time for another game review. This time, it's Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 for the Nintendo Wii. There are other versions on PC, PS3, and 360. The story of the game resolves around Starkiller waking up in a cloning facility on Kamino. And while he's training with Vader, he gets memories of other people. Starkiller escapes Vader's training and leaves to find those in his memories but runs through several obstacles on the way. For how the story works, I'm satisfied with how it runs as it suits the mood based on Starkiller's mental feelings about him being a clone, but not feeling like it due to what he remembers and how he acts. It's also quite action packed, though some moments have me scratching my head at times, namely the endings, but it's not too bad. Like The Force Unleashed 1, it is mostly a hack and slash action game with you slaying a lot of enemies with your skills. Though there are instances where you have to do some platforming and puzzle solving. Personally, I don't think there's too much to say about them, but I will admit that in most levels, they actually suit the situations involved, while in other spots, the platforming doesn't feel right, but that is still outweighed by the platforming segments that do make sense. Now let's talk about the controls, and these had a major change from the first game. You're no longer swinging the Wii Remote all the time for your basic saber swings. Instead, motions are only used in the quick time events, moving around the cursor, special attacks if you have enough points in your meter, walking, and throwing your lightsaber. All of your basic swings are used with the press the A button. The other motions involved are used by the nunchuck for when you push, or zap with lightning. These controls still work well enough though, with no major problems I can think of, so it's all good there. For other force powers, you use the D-pad on the Wii Remote and the C button on the nunchuck with help of the cursor on the Wii Remote by pointing it at the screen. This is also really well done as it can help you pick a target better when you're using these force powers whether you're pushing your enemies, mind tricking them, throwing them into stuff, vice versa, and even if Starkiller's new trick, raging. Though I admit, I was bummed that they took out Force Choke, but hey, at least Force Lightning, my most favorite Force Power, stayed in, and that's good enough. Despite the fact that you can't swing your Wii Remote for basic swings, Force Unleashed 2 does add something that makes lightsaber play a bit more believable, and that is because you can sever limbs from most of your enemies, which is also a nice touch. The multiplayer mode of the game features a versus battle in the same style of Super Smash Bros. At the start of it, you can see the game only has 8 characters in its complete roster and very few stages to choose from. All of the characters have their own weapon assortments and extra moves, which is good and can be a fun when you play with a friend. It just could have used more variety to it to make it a great experience. Visually speaking for the gameplay alone, I'm impressed with what the developers have done here. For Wii standards, they actually look pretty well detailed and have some nicer effects than the first game. The only thing I would criticize about them is that sometimes the animation can be a tad bit off. This can show during the Force Rage segment where it sometimes looks like Starkiller isn't even hitting his opponent the right way when they get cut up. That could have been fixed a little there. In the end though, I still had a lot of fun with Force Unleashed 2 on the Wii. The action-packed single-player story was decent, albeit some flaws, and despite some of the shortcomings the multiplayer mode has, that can still be worth a try too. Another thing to note is that it's now cheap at 20 bucks new.